Hey, I welcome you in the fourth session of a course overview module, which is data analytics. So in this session, we're going to discuss in detail about what data analytics is with the real time case study and with the help of real time example. Okay, so let's take example of DMART. As you can see, like all over the India have a lot of DMART stores, Walmart stores. And if you talk about the stores, then we have a Chroma stores, Reliance stores and so on. Okay, so these are the stores have a you know have a multiple locations they have a multiple products they have a lot of customers so now like every day i'm talking about they are generating millions of data from all over the india and from all over the stores which is available in the worldwide okay not available only in india most of the brands are available worldwide as well now the question is how they will gonna analyze the data how they are you know storing their data how they are managing their data okay now when it comes to data analytics the data analyst in the organizations help them to store the data to organize the data to you know structure the data and as well as to analyze and visualize the data as well I hope it's clear. So when it comes to, let's say, for an example, Reliance Smart, Chroma Mart, D Mart, they have a multiple products. So as a data analyst, I need to analyze that from which location and which store is performing best, which store is giving us maximum sales. For an example, from all over the India, Mumbai store is giving me the maximum sale. From the like in Mumbai as well, we have 10 number of stores. So from these 10 number of stores as well, we need to select a one store from where we are getting a maximum sales. Okay. So now we are just analyzing a complete overall data and we are analyzing that from where we are getting a maximum sales and from where we are getting a maximum revenue. Okay, so as a data analyst, I need to analyze a complete data of the organization and, and, and this is my responsibility as a data analyst to take a business decisions, to take a strategic and growth related decisions for my organization as well. If I can analyze that in Mumbai, then there is an Anheri store which is giving us the maximum sales. Okay, so when it comes to that particular store, now we will gonna do an in-depth analysis that from which product we are getting a maximum sales and which customer is repetitive, from which customer we are getting a maximum revenue. So we need to do an in-depth analysis of a stores, of a products and even the customers as well. Okay, so these all are the in-depth analysis as a data analyst we need to perform. Not only this guys, after doing the analysis, we need to generate a good decisions. We need to discuss the same with the managers, with the CEOs, with the CMOs, chief marketing officers of the organization. We need to discuss everything by the performance of the data. Why is it so? Because we need to analyze that, okay, if that particular product, let's say, uh, from which product, let's say uh, in the Reliance store from camera, we are getting a maximum sales. Okay, the camera is a best selling product in the store which is in Andheri so what I will gonna do is from next year and next to next years will have a good stock good will have a good stock of camera already okay so that's how data analysis comes into picture where we will analyze not only the present data of the company but will gonna you know predict the future as well and will be the market ready we will be the future ready because whatever we are doing currently Red, let's say we are generating 12 million, 12 million of sales every day, then maybe in future we're gonna create, let's say 13, 14, 15, so we can do a easy predictions, okay? So all these responsibilities are of a data analyst and as well as the business analyst as well. We're gonna discuss in detail about all, you know, these two profiles, data and business analyst. But in this session, we're gonna discuss in detail about the data analytics itself. So I hope it's clear that what is the roles and responsibilities of a data analyst in the organization they are the one who are responsible to analyze a complete data of a customer products if the company have a different different stores and so on 
and let's say let's talk about a real time case study of tektip24 as well as a ceo and founder of tektip24 i have a dashboard with me in which i can see my overall enrolled students and the revenue we have generated and from which city from which location we are getting a good number of students and that's how we are also analyzing a data for our future growth okay and this is a case study of all the tech companies and all the organizations which is available in the market because everyone is work you know every organization and each and every industries are working on their data and that's why there is a huge requirement of a data analyst as well okay so i hope it's clear that what are data analyst what are the responsibilities of a data analyst this is a overview about the data analytics and i hope it's clear for you all this is a short and small example for you and now let's discuss about the need of data analytics the first is better decision making okay every organizations can take a decisions better okay by analyzing a data and convert the whole tabular data into meaningful visualizations not only this guys better strategic activities better you know strategic decisions we can take for the organization better relationships with the customer let's say this is a customer which is buying the same product every week so we'll build a better relationship with the customer we'll send a predefined notifications if you analyze like in zomato as well you will get a notification now it's a pizza time and now it's a bread time and now it's a milk time and now this and that and from blinkit as well because they're analyzing your data what you are ordering frequently and as per that they are sending you the notifications okay so data analysis you know have a role of this particular task and of course you know it will help us to build a better relationship with the customers not only this guys better sense of risk and better financial performance and of course the other uh, roles and responsibilities of a data analyst okay so we can take a better risk as well okay if we have a data then we can take a risk as far as our data strategy strategies are concerned we can take a better decisions for a financial perspective as well for the organization that's the core need of a data analyst in the market not only this guys why should you pursue a career of data analyst because it is having a lot of job opportunities also you can become a decision maker of the organization you will not work as a sales marketing or first and second level of the organization no you will going to work directly with ceo cxos managers of the organization because you are working with data you will be the data decision maker of the organization and that's why there is a huge profile of yours in the company okay so you'll get a better job in short not only this guys you will make a good salary as well when it comes to a data analytics domain so this is a short introductory session for you all regarding a data analytics i hope it's clear and i'll see you in the next session